What's up, you guys? So, as of right now, I am sitting closer to the mic since it's an external mic, it's not internal. Um, so, I'm just hoping you can hear me, especially right now. I've uh, been waiting for this game to come out for a while now, and just came out today, just got it downloaded, and played it a little bit. Um, seems pretty good from what I've played so far. Uh, stop on one part because uh, it involves something you'll see but uh yeah i've already played a little bit it turned out good so far so uh let's see how it turns out right now let's start from the beginning i'm sorry if you can't really hear me that well i've been trying to get a new microphone for a while but I think I might hold off on it for a while. So yeah, that's basically how it starts out. You're just walking and walking. I think uh, as the story is so far it happens to be you're on your way to I don't know your sister's funeral or something, something like that. I don't want to get too far into the story, but I'll let you figure it out as you go along. Joseph Delange. The famous Marble Hornets crew. They did, however, write the story for this, and I just want to see how it turns out. Done a great job of Marble Hornets so far, so I can only imagine they're doing good on this one as well.
yeah, you have to, uh, to interact with certain things like windows or something, you have to click and drag your mouse just to open or close it like that. So, oh, the flashlight moved. It was right here last time, wasn't it? Maybe it's random for every time you play it. Whatevs, though, whatevs. My condolences. Okay, I see that all the scrapbook items are back. The phone line appears to be dead. Thank you enough for coming out all this way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have an idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, mate. Kate. That's a little... Um, what's the word? Words were a little unreadable, you could say that. Oh. oh. Hey Kate, it's been a while since we last spoke, hasn't it? Hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know writing a letter is a little old fashioned, but sometimes I like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So I can't remember what I was doing at the time, but all the stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out on our adventures? Ghost hunting, we call it. We'd shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant noise. Our imaginations were always working in overdrive. I wish I could rewind back to then. Seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. Sorry, ignore all that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please let me hear from you soon. I know things have been less than normal for you lately, so I just wanted to check in. Okay. It's very dark up here. Literally can't see anything. Of course, you can't see without a flashlight, which I don't know where it is anymore. Oh, <laughs> stupid me, I forgot to check one more room. Yeah, uh, it might be in here. Yep, that was right. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well, too. But yeah, about what all we said. I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really be just a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. The guy from earlier. Uh, I want to turn on the radio. The music's a little distracting. By distracting, I mean it'll help give me a jump scare. And we start with the snarky comments. Locked. Wasn't locked last time. I guess they just made the game all random or something. Now I have to find some sort of I don't know, master key since there's like three locks. Uh, I wonder if this is locked. Oh, no, it's not. At least in like the backyard or something. Yeah. Last time I came out here, Slenderman was standing right over there. No idea. Oh my god! Oh. Yep. Spoke too soon, apparently. 
I talking too much? Is he gone? No. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh. You can, um, go away. Oh, shit. Oh, so that's what the noise was. Okay. I guess he's just a hallucination for now. For now. Hey Kate, both my computer and phone have been acting weird lately, so I figured I'd do it the old-fashioned way again. Glad we can meet up to talk things through. I agree with what the doctor said, too. There's an explanation for this stuff. The sheer traumatic event sounds the most logical to me. That night out there in the woods is probably what caused it. I had almost completely blocked that out, but now it's kind of coming back to me. But like I said before, it's still really foggy. I think the best course of action right now is just to ignore it, whatever you think you might be seeing things again. I'll try to do the same. That'll probably do the trick. P.S. You should call Lauren sometime. I bet some company would help out. Okay. Seriously, what are all those noises I keep hearing? Like, this in the footsteps? I don't know. Maybe it's a squirrel. Oh, you know what? It's just to show you something completely out of context. You actually get achievements in the game, I found out. Wait, that didn't work? No. Oh. It's just randomly a text pop up saying achievement unlocked, playing a s playing on a slide in a horror game or something like that it said. playing on the swing set with Kate when we were kids. You know, I never really checked this garage thoroughly. I don't really think there's anything on the shelves. No, nothing I know. Can't really do anything with a car. Um, a lock from the other side as well. Charlie Matheson Jr. He's probably lost for good now. Um, maybe he, he could be. Wait, is this closed before? So there's supposed to be another enemy in this game. I forgot what he was called, but it's some guy in a mask. They, I read the form saying he's closely related to the rake, and so I don't know. Allegedly, the rake has something like closely related to do with the Slenderman. So I don't know what all that is about. There's nothing in here. Nothing in the toilet. Here at all. I've checked these rooms before, there's nothing here. I don't know. Um, nothing on the bookshelves. Can't really grab anything.
don't know why I'm opening the windows. Well, still got one more hallway to explore. After that, I have no idea what I'm doing. video game company wouldn't want to include their own studio inside the game. Huh. I don't know what that is. Seems awesome. Uh, yeah, I checked this bathroom before. There's like nothing. Oh, oh, what's this? A key. Okay. Um, well, I don't know what the key goes to. Well, hopefully it goes to this door down here. Does prepare your anuses for jump scare, possibly. Can you see it? I don't like this music. I guess now this is the eight pages part. Uh, done all this before, right? You know what? Um, yeah, I think uh, what they did here, they gave you a prologue, then they want you to do this eight pages part again, which was part of the beta that I did. And then, um,. Yeah, I think we actually might have to do this all over again. <laughs> oh. Well, let's see first. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the eight pages is just recreation of the first game? Maybe not? Oh, it's not. Fuck. Okay, well, let's just see if I can get this over with. I didn't even hear the music. Did I even initiate anything? Oh, wait. Oh. I don't hear any music. I know he's probably out there somewhere. I just know it. Too big a forest. Wait. Holy shit, there he is. Oh man, I think I saw him walking. Page. No wait. Okay. Uh, 
second. Come on. Easiest place. Yes. I needed one more. Crap. Uh, and it's either there or on that uh, uh, information billboard or whatever. Man. I know this video has been way too long already, so I think I'll just stop it here for now. But, um, yeah, I'll pick up again on, yeah, this forest. I'll try to find all of them this time, hopefully without getting caught. And, uh... I think that's it. Hopefully I didn't talk too much or, you know, was annoying. Um, but if I wasn't, then I'm glad you've watched this far. And I don't even know if you can hear me. Uh, even though I'm sitting, I don't know, I, I guess a decent distance away from the microphone. I need to get a, a I don't know, another one. But anyways, enough blabbering. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, just like it. And if you want some more, subscribe. I'm uploading a lot more videos now. Um, I got all this new stuff and these new games. I'm. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm making some more Bioshock videos right now since I just got it. And um, anything other than that, I'll upload another part of this video pretty soon. Thanks for watching.